Hi Stampers, it's Stampin' Texas, and today I wanted to share with you this fun technique of using a brayer to create this blue uh, background on this particular card. This card uses the layered label stamp set, and look at all these different labels you get in this set. It is so cute. So what we're going to do is we are going to get a whisper white piece of cardstock like this and I just made sure that the piece I'm using is bigger than the image that we're going to stamp and so I'm going to just set this down you're going to need a brayer like this I'm using crumb cake and what we're going to do is we're going to first bray get our color on our brayer and I just start rolling the color on the paper you can go any direction you want, it doesn't really matter. I really like kind of having a collage look to it. And depending on how dark and light you go, can you tell the difference in those? It's so cute. It comes out a little bit different every time I do it. Now, I'm going to set the crumb cake aside. And I'm just going to run my brayer on my stamp and scrub a minute just to get some of that tan color off. Make sure we got that off. And as long as we're doing the light color first, then the dark color, you're going to be just fine. I'm using Baja Breeze as my next color. So we're going to brayer that up and then go right to the center of the page again. There it goes. See, and you can stop at this point if you'd like or if you like it to be a little bit more blue in it. However you like it, you just go with it. Now let's get our heartfelt stamp. And I'm using Stazon, the black ink. You can do just the basic black ink pad. That works as well. I just had Stazon handy. So we're going to ink it up all over. All right, and now I'm going to stamp it to the middle of my page. Oh, that's so pretty. That stamp really looks good every time. At this point, I'm going to get my Big Shot and the Apothecary Accents uh, framelits. I almost forgot what they're called. We are going to need the largest framelit that comes in the set. Love these framelits. And what we're going to do is you can tell the little lip on the framelit, that's what's going to go down against the paper to cut it out. So let's get the big shot into the picture here. You're going to need your multi-purpose platform. Looks like this. Just leave it with the tabs closed. Put in your cutting pad. Put your paper down. We'll put the framelit around it. I'm kind of just building this up. Right here, does that look good? I think that looks pretty good. Oops. I know I'm very picky about how this goes on. Okay, and once you get it all sandwiched together, then you can just roll it through. And there is the card. There's a little piece for the card. It just snaps out like that. And let me show you what it looks like as it's finished. And see, I went even a little bit lighter on the sample, but you can go darker. For the rest of the card, I just stamped it again on very vanilla, cut it out with my scissors. I colored it in with a Baja Breeze marker. I added a piece of black cardstock and I embossed that. Can you see the little dots? And I've added a little bit of very vanilla uh, ribbon on there and you're good to go. Thanks so much for watching, and for more fun ideas, visit my website at stampintx.com. Thank you.